Hello everybody, so this is my first in the section of my GCC to Alo Mouse uh, hosted by me for uh, basically 2021 so I'm going to get right into this so the prerequisites then, the prerequisites basically means requirements okay? so if you want me to uh, have some of that, I shall basically means required Now every college or academy is different, okay? So in general, students normally require to do higher tier GCSE, so a grade six or seven roughly, okay? Uh, so if you get in that, you can get in for most colleges. However, those students who scrape a six or a seven need to put in a lot of work to succeed at A level, as you'll see in a second. Okay, so if you're scraping a 6 or a 7, you need to do a lot of work. That's the only caveat. It's just scraping and getting in. Alright, because tr trust me, a mass is hard. It's not easy at all. Okay, so I recommend students need a minimum of a grade 8 in order to do reasonably well at a level. You've got a 9, then you should have no problem at all. And getting in, but uh, you do need to be doing the work as well. So, if I've put here a conversion that a grade 8 is roughly a low D at A level. Now, at A level, we look at the uh, we convert from the number system into the letter grade system. Okay, so your A star, your A, your B, and all that lot. Okay, all the way down to D's. So, just be careful that D, a low D, is your grade 8. Okay? So if you think what a 6 or a 7 is, that's even lower. Alright? So just put that into context. So, questions that people can, can ask, I can kind of predict what you're going to ask. So, what are you going to do over the summer? What do you need to do? You need to recap your GCC material. Okay? Kind of obvious. You need to review it. So, it's a good idea to download the Head Start to Halo Maths book by CGP uh, for free, okay? CGP book on Kindle. It's free, so you, you don't have to pay anything to download it. As long as you've got an Amazon account, you can download it. Uh, the link will be below in the description if you want to go ahead and download that. I don't get any money for that link, but feel free if you want to go and download that. You might as well, if you are thinking about it. Also, don't forget, it's summer, relax, don't do every single bit of work, but it is recommended to do some, otherwise you will forget. For example, your index laws, I'm sure you know that a to the minus n is 1 over to the n. Yeah. But students forget that, and index laws, even into the second year in year 13, people will still struggle with it. Okay, so also you can watch my GCC to A level transition videos in the coming weeks, which I shall post on YouTube, and you can go ahead and watch those if you would like. And there'll be in a playlist, and I'll put the playlist also on my home screen if you want to go ahead and watch that. So, this is the next kind of question I can guess people will ask What specification will I do the content will I be covering? Okay, that should be a splash. Okay. So you do specifications like, I'm not giving them all here, but uh, here's most of them. Things like AQA, OCR, OCR, MEI, and NXL. Now I'm going to go through three of these in a bit, as you'll see in a second. The links will be below to the, spe the specifications for those four. If I can find any more, I will put them down there as well. So things like WJEC and ones that are in Northern Ireland and all that. Lot. The ones that are in Wales, I'll try and put in there as well, including the Scottish ones. For the course for all exam boards, it's split into two sections. You have pure mathematics, which used to be called core when the A level maths was modular, so you could pick modules to take. And it was split into statistics and mechanics, which is also taught in one book. Okay. 
So, uh, what you need to be doing is buying folders, okay? So you can split that into two folders, okay? So you need two folders, one for the statistics and mechanics, which is also known as the applied, okay? The applied side of maths and the pure side of maths, which is also called cure when they have a wasn't module okay so uh, for AQA for those of you doing AQA you should know by now uh, you've got three exams each are two hours long I know they're long trust me uh, but it's not the only exam there is at A level there's ones that come for two hours 45 minutes that are written okay uh, so two hours long out of 100 marks by the way, that's 245 of people doing the languages. Okay. So 100 marks per paper, so you've got 300 marks in total for the whole A level. Paper 1 is all pure stuff. Paper 2 is pure in mechanics. Paper 3 is pure in stats, not pure in statistics. I'm calling it stats. And you'll see in mechanics put a max as well. Just to show off that. Okay. So now for Excel, which is the course that I do. For Excel, there's three papers, all for two hours long, and a hundred marks each. Paper one, pure. Paper two is harder pure. Now I don't really which one to title this, because I can't title paper one and two the same. Now harder pure means you need to apply skills. Okay. So that you need to apply the skills from the first paper into your second okay so it's not as easy as find the factor of this, this lovely cubic okay it will be harder and it'll be more like problem solving questions which you will see in paper three which is stats and mechanics combined into two sections section a stats section b mechanics in one paper for two hours and paper three usually is the harder one of the three people find also, as you would expect, question one starts off easy, and the last question usually is quite hard. The maximum amount of marks is 10 marks I've seen for one question, so it can be pretty hefty for one question, but don't forget that's a tenth of the paper already done. Think of it like that, okay? Let's add Excel. OCR, people. Well, if you do OCR, you'll have three exams, each two hours long, down to 100 marks. Paper 1 is all pure. Paper 2 is pure in stats. Paper 3 is pure in mechanics. Okay. Now. Uh, tips then. So, look at a large data set. Basically, a lot of data. Okay. Pick out key points and commit to memory. Now. Uh, I am just going to... If you give me two seconds. Okay. So, this is the Edexcel one. This is just the one I do, so I've picked this one. Okay, so Edexcel. Uh, it gives you a lot of data and it gives you information below. Okay, so all the stuff which explains what's going on in the pictures. Alright, and it is, is really worth reading that. This is the larger data set, it is all these years and all that load of data. Here is one, for example, there we go. Uh, in Perth Airport. And it is a load of data. Now, people think you have to go and remember that. And to be honest, you need to remember parts, okay? You need to know um, uh, what the parts are talking about, what they might mean, okay? Sorry, that is a cheeky pun, mean, in statistics. Sorry, that pun. But the things were like 0, 0.0. No rainfall in May. So you might say, um, for example, uh, from the data above, which month in Perth have the lowest amount of rain? And you could say May, okay, which would be right. But also, you need to look through the whole data. So, things like September would also be accepted. 
August would be accepted. <coughs> Alright, so most of the summer months are accepted in that. So you've got to look at it like that. And that's for every single one. Okay. So that's a large data set. Basically a lot of stuff to remember. Which is used in paper 3. And those doing AS is paper 2. Okay. And as it says here, students are required to become familiar with their data sets in advance of the final assessment. Okay. So, uh, this is what the pictures are for, by the way. You need a new calculator. So you need to search for the Casio Classwiz in Google, or other search engines are available. Okay, uh, the graphics calculator on the right are also allowed for the exams. And it's recommended if you're doing a little further maths, then it might be worth investing in a graphical calculator. Yes, they are expensive, but they might well do the job. That's the Casio class with on the left. And both the pictures are owned by Casio, okay? I'll just put them into this PowerPoint for you. Yeah? Nice and simple. And that's basically everything for this first video, giving all you the information for GCSE 2 A level. So that's it. I shall leave this on your screen. And. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and my flight is now out of here. Cheers guys, thank you very much. Enjoy your summer.